The new 988 hotline is aimed at making it easier to get help for mental health issues. But advocates and lawmakers say it needs more resources. Washington correspondent Hannah Brandt explains why. A month ago, 988 became the new number to reach the suicide prevention lifeline. And within days, the amount of calls and texts to that number jumped. Mental health advocate Angela Kimball says that's significant. More people get help. More people get on a path of recovery. That's exactly what we want to see out of this. The federal government put hundreds of millions of dollars into the transition, but now Congressman Tony Cardenas says there's more to do. To make sure that we build that system like the system that has been going on for over 50 years, which is now 911. Congressman Cardenas has introduced legislation to boost funding for 988 related crisis response and to build out mental health services on three different levels. Where you have somewhere to call, Someone will come and somewhere to go. Advocates say that means making sure 988 call centers have the staff they need and communities have the mobile crisis teams to respond and facilities that can provide longer term mental health support. To create the kind of crisis response that gets everybody the help that they need. Getting lawmakers to approve more spending can be an uphill battle. But Congressman Cardena says this is something that affects way too many families and, and every community equally. And I'm seeing more and more of a bipartisan effort. And Kimball argues spending more on mental health could reduce spending on prisons and hospitals, which often become a catch off for people in crisis. We need to use our resources better. And that means reinvesting them into services that actually work. In Washington, I'm Hannah Brandt.